Anyone who makes a life commitment steps into a future that has many hopes and dreams. And we who have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ believe that this is our vocation, our call in life, this specific thing that God wants us to do. Today, Mike and Alex, you will promise yourselves to each other in a very beautiful and holy and exclusive way in what we call the sacrament of holy matrimony, your vocation to that union known as husband and wife. I'm Alex's little sister. I literally wanted to be just like Alex. I mean, what is not to admire about her? She's brave, she's dedicated, intelligent, kind, and I could name about a thousand adjectives, all good ones, of course, to describe you. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. I, Michael, take you, Alexandra. I, Alexandra, take you, Michael. To be my wife. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. Mike was the only guy and the first guy she ever brought to the house. And, and from the moment I saw him, I mean, I knew, and the way they interacted, I knew that it was for real. And, and when, he, when he came to ask me if he could marry her, I mean, it, it was already done because in my heart, you know, he was already there from the word go, really, you know, because he was that kind of person. So to quote Corinthians 13, seven, love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. And Alex and Mike, as you start this new chapter of life, as a married couple, keep those words in mind and never forget how strong your love is and how blessed you are to have the gift of each other. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. And I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael McMahon.